Hello and welcome to a short presentation which will give details of the mathematics provision we offer at Brian Lees and the ways in which you can assist your child at home. At Brian Lees we believe all pupils can develop the skills and knowledge needed to succeed in mathematics. We offer quality first teaching by specialist maths teachers which is supplemented by inter-house competitions and online resources which will support your child every step of the way. Here's an overview of our Key Stage 3 scheme of work. All students in any Key Stage 3 year group will study the same topic at the same time. We use spaced practice to assess your child's understanding of the work covered and any gaps in their learning informs our future planning to allow your child multiple opportunities to rectify this. You can see that the current Year 8 topic is Unit 2, Algebra, and in Year 7 and Year 9, we're on the second unit of work also, which are both in relation to number skills. Uh, the next unit tests will run during the last week of November and will cover the Unit 2 work for each year group. In the inside front cover of their exercise book, you'll see a document that looks a bit like this. It's an overview of the sources that your maths, child's maths teacher uses to inform the student's data collection. After each assessment, your child will complete a target sheet, which helps them to identify areas in which improvements need to be made. Students should work independently on their targets over the next few weeks, as well as doing the, their homework regularly. You can help your child to improve their understanding independently by showing an interest in their target sheets and work together to improve their areas of weakness. The example at the top right hand side uh, shows a target sheet that the students can complete themselves when they receive their marked test paper back and can highlight um, questions where they did not achieve all of the marks and the associated Hegarty clip is shown there, um, which is a great way in which they can improve on their knowledge and understanding for that particular skill. Uh, at the bottom right hand side, you can see a similar version, but it's colour coded for your child. So on occasions, the class teacher will be able to uh, provide that for them already completed. The two key online resources that we use at Key Stage 3 are Hegarty Maths, which is our homework platform, um, and students can also use this for revision and target work. And also Times Table Rockstars is used uh, in Key Stage 3 also. So Hegarty Maths is an online platform with detailed videos on all aspects of maths. It runs from Key Stage 2 skills all the way up to Key Stage 5 A-level skills. And each video has an associated quiz, which pupils can take as often as they need to. Homework is set on a Friday and is due the following Friday at 8am. Students have a sticker on the back of their exercise book outlining the characteristics of a perfect homework. And we recommend that pupils complete extra Hegarty when they're struggling with classwork or preparing for tests or examinations. Pupils are given target sheets after each assessment, as you've just seen, which detail the Hegarty clips that they should use to study independently in order to improve. We are able to see the time spent completing a task, including the time that the task was started and the proportion of the video tutorial that has been watched. This really allows us to see um, the effort that students are putting in uh, to complete their homework adequately and also allow us to intervene and make adjustments if we feel that students um, might be spending too much time um, and, and the, therefore the task might not be pitched appropriately for them. The sticker that I mentioned previously um, that's stuck onto the back of the exercise books is shown here and this acts as a checklist essentially 
to ensure that students have everything that they need to complete a perfect homework task. So here's an example of a completed homework task. Writing detailed notes from the video tutorials helps pupils to comprehend the skill and the various ways in which a specific skill can be tested. Pupils may repeat the quiz in order to improve their score, demonstrating high standards and expectations of themselves. And as we can see, this particular piece achieved 100% score, which is perfect. Supporting your child with their Hegarty homework. So if your child is struggling to complete the quiz, they can refer back to the video and their notes. Pupils are able to send a message to their teacher via the Hegarty website. And if your child has received feedback from their teacher, they will be able to view this by clicking um, the red bell icon toward the top right hand side of the Hegarty web page. If there's a problem accessing the website, your children could go to the Key Stage 3 Homework Club, which is held on Tuesdays after school in BG21. Pupils can also use the computers in the LEC at lunchtime to help them to complete their homework. However, it's without doubt that the biggest support your child can have with Hegarty homework is you at home. So how can you help? Your child's homework routine always follows the same structure. It will be set on a Friday and due the following Friday. So if you remind them to complete it um, as soon as possible, perhaps over the weekend if they have time, then they'll have plenty of time to speak to their teacher if they're struggling with any aspect of the homework. You can ask your children about the math that they're working on in their lessons. Are they able to explain what they're doing and give you examples or maybe discuss something that they struggled with and they felt tricky. You can also go through your child's exercise book to glean these examples and please do congratulate them when you see high standards um, of written work and offer encouragement and advice of how they can improve what you can see is there. The other resource that we have available for year seven and eight pupils is Times Table Rockstars. The software tracks their progress and adapts the difficulty of their questions as they demonstrate a secure recollection of various times tables. Pupils compete to earn coins and customise their avatar. Uh, most children enjoy using it as it's competitive and it's lots of fun and it's a great way to improve this fundamental skill which underpins their success in the various strands of mathematics, particularly algebra. You can help your child by talking to them about Times Table Rock Stars, remind them that they can use it or suggest that they spend some time on it the night before assessing any other online games, maybe a bit of bribery. You can ask them what their rock speed is and you can help them by practicing and testing them with their times tables and perhaps square numbers as well is another good thing that you guys can work together on at home. Encourage your child by asking about their maths lessons and make it clear that you believe that they can succeed. Help your children with homework by ensuring that they have a quiet area to work and you can also help your child to be organised for school by reminding them to pack their maths exercise book and ensuring that they have the correct equipment, including a pen, pencil, ruler. A scientific calculator is part of their school equipment and we suggest um, the Casio models, anything similar to the one shown in the diagram there. Students should also have geometry equipment, including a protractor and a pair of compasses, but your um, child's class teacher will likely remind um, your child when they need to, to bring that equipment in. However, if they have a well stock pencil case, they'll always have all of the equipment that they need to use at their disposal whenever they need to. 
Another way in which you can help your child to succeed is by role modelling and appreciation for mathematics and numeracy. And this can really help them to have a positive attitude towards the subject themselves. All adults use maths throughout the course of each and every day, whether it's doing the shopping, following a recipe, measuring a room for decorating, as well as many ways in which you might use maths within your, your job role or employment. Um, I've included a link uh, on this slide for the National Numeracy Organisation, um, and it might be something fun that you could have a look at uh, together and work on and have a bit of a competition um, with your children or within your family um, in relation to the practical applications of mathematics, which comes under the, the umbrella of numeracy. Playing any mathematical games would help as well. Anything from Pantoon to Uno, which I know is a, a strong, popular choice in many households. There are many digital platforms tailored to supporting your child's progress in maths. One particular website is the Family Maths Toolkit. It has lots of ideas you can use to support maths with everyday activities. Thank you for taking the time to hear more about your child's mathematics education. We look forward to working together with our pupils and their families to help our students to flourish by having the mathematical skills that they will need to succeed throughout their life. Thank you. Goodbye.